Hey ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and uh, surprise, surprise, I have a special <laughs> guest with me today. He's not a guest, he's a mainstay on this channel at this point, so. They're gonna start charging me rent soon. <laughs> <laughs> we'll we'll make a nice little space for you in the basement. Anyway, so my good friend Carlos is here. Carlos, thank you for coming. Ooh, whoops, almost. Yeah, it's a big box. Really nice presentation on this one. So uh, for those of you who don't know, this is a fragrance by the company Memo, and uh, this one is called Marfa. Now, have you tried anything by Memo before? I, I'm actually, sure you have. I did. Um, I don't <laughs> own any. Have a lot of decants, but um, I did like a like seven or ten. A video of some to ten fragrances from okay, them. okay. They do outstanding work. Yeah, I I really like their stuff. I have uh, this is the only bottle that I own, mm -hmm. but I have tried like Russian leather, Italian leather. Yeah, I was leather. gonna say the leather series are really good. So good. Russian leather is real nice. Yeah, and you know which other one gets a lot of hype in the community too? Shams Oud. Yes. Yeah. That reminds me of Rich Carter always. Does it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Shout out to Rich. <laughs> He's watching. Um, so today we're going to be taking a closer look at a 2016 release. So this is one of the more recent ones from the brand. And uh, gorgeous, gorgeous presentation. Uh, the fragrance Lovely. is called Marfa. It has a series of eyes on the front. Blue eyes, some open, some closed, some winking, some blinking. And um, uh, this does open up, but I tried to keep it perfect so that this is kind of like a postcard. Anyways, that's what the box looks like. It's a very sturdy construction. So this is... <clears throat> Like the image that's on the bottle, except it's a postcard and it's it's uh, taped. It's taped on. Yep. Very cool. Yeah. Very nice. Gorgeous presentation. So uh, with this fragrance in particular, just off the bat, it's a floral scent. It sure is. Uh, you're gonna have uh, tuberose, orange blossom, ylang ylang. There's also a little bit of musk in the background too. I believe cedarwood is mm -hmm. listed as a note as well. Um, but for me, it's really all about the florals and it's really dense and chunky yes. and rich. So, what do you think of it? I like it. I personally love two bros. I, I like the sweet ones like Fraka. I like with leather and Ajate. Oh, yes, sure. <clears throat> Queer and Boutique. Yeah, and <clears throat> there's some other two bros. I do like it. This, um, this is really bold. Yeah. But I don't, I don't, I honestly don't think it's that feminine. Mm -hmm. Like, if you're a guy who is apprehensive about wearing floral fragrances, I think you could pull this off. I like it. It's definitely bold. It's 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 robust. It's it's a full fragrance. Yeah. And I could see it blooming on skin, especially on a hot day. Yeah. Um, I I dig it. Yeah, yeah. I love. I actually really like this one too. I do surprisingly. Now, of course, the leathers are my favorite. So any any leather it could be Italian, Russian, French. They all have a really nice quality to them, and they are. You know, there definitely there's enough in there to differentiate them among one another. With this one, it is quite floral, but again, it's not floral to the point that it's overtly feminine. I think a guy could pull this one off, but it's, it's feminine just, leaning. I, I would yeah. I would say that. Yeah, definitely. I just think it's you. It's one you have to sample. Yeah. Before you buy. So um, the perfumer Alien or Masonette um, has done, I think, all fragrances from this brand. She or might most, be, most might be the in-house. If you love Orange Blossom, they make they have a few that are really, really nice. I can't okay. remember what the names are, but hit up Josie at Oswald. I smell them over there. They're really, really nice. Are they? Yeah. Like, I love Orange Blossom. One of them is <laughs> like a like an absolute... It's really, really nice. Okay. If you dig Orange Blossom. And, you know, this company doesn't shy away from making fragrances that are... That last and, yeah. you know, they're bold. You get your money's worth. I don't know what they run for these days, but I know they're pricey, but you do get your money's worth with, with this brand, I feel. Yeah, and it lasts. Uh, that's another thing. Longevity on this one is incredible. You're gonna get like eight plus hours. I sprayed it on the back of my hand, went to bed, even washed my hands several times, woke up the next morning, I was still able to smell it. Why can it be that's the case with fragrances that we love? I know. Usually it's something that, to scrub, not this one, but yeah. you know things that I don't like that stay on my skin for like two days. <laughs> I also want to mention from this company, the owner of this company is putting together a, a film festival where you can uh, submit. It's inspired by haikus. Yes. And yeah. you can submit. I actually did a blog post on it, not a video. So um, if you want to link it, you can if you'd like. Yeah, of course. It's called Cine Haiku. And I'm going to leave all the information down below. So definitely make sure to check that out. Cool. But um, 
Overall, um, I think this is a great fragrance. It's really natural smelling. It's bold, it's rich, it's powerful. Long lasting. Incredibly long lasting. The projection is really solid on this one too. It's gonna jump up off your skin and radiate beyond an arm's length for a couple hours. Um, you're gonna get really good longevity and projection from it. I think it's also very versatile in the regard that it could be worn dressed up, dressed down. I think it would work better in seasons like the spring and summer just because of the florals, it kind of evokes that. And like I said before, I think that this would bloom in the heat in humid yeah. weather. Yeah. In a, in a nice way. Not like you need it for this <laughs> scent, but anyways. So guys, thank you so much. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Remember to enable notifications by clicking on the bell. And remember, we Ding. smell well so you can smell good. And we'll see you in the next episode. Take, Take care. care.